The Houston Rockets are visiting the San Antonio Spurs. These two teams just faced each other a couple of nights ago. The Spurs won that by three. How do we tackle this game here in a revenge angle for the Rockets? I'll dive into it in just a bit. I am Ronald Cabang from wagertalk.com and themoneyballer.com. October has been great for me. My all-access clients are up 51 units so far, and we still have a few more days left in the month, so hopefully we could tack on a few more profitable days here. Wager Talk currently has a deal going on where you can get a 30-day all-access pass for just $249. That's eight, under $8 per day. So check out my capper page at wt.buzz backslash rc for that deal and other premium picks and packages as well as several free plays uh, available. Uh, now let's dive into this matchup between the San Antonio Spurs and the Houston Rockets. And um, if you guys have been watching my videos, things have been going pretty well. But uh, I, I want to do something a little bit different here now that we have some data. I will bring up themoneyballer.com to use uh, the site to cap the page and show you guys how I use it. Uh, so I'll bring it up here. All right, so this is themoneyballer.com. I went to the NBA stats page here, brought up the Rockets versus Spurs matchup. And we do have a, 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 a model that runs after the first two weeks. Uh, we use in-season data, so we don't have enough to run the model yet. But um, we do have situational notes here. Obviously, the, the Spurs coming off a win as a dog. You know, we typically call that a letdown. We have a bounce back spot here coming off a loss as a favorite, in-season revenge. We do have some situational notes that come into play for like fatigue. So we have fourth game in six nights for the Rockets, third game in four nights. Uh, we have baller systems. Baller systems are um you know systems that we vet prior to the season make sure that they're profitable over a long term uh at least five years and also have a really good sample size as far as um a number of plays per season uh, so we have some things pointing towards the under we also have a, a fade system here fading the spurs so a look towards the rockets if you look at the schedule here um, we did talk about how this is a revenge angle for the rockets they did uh, the spurs won by three as a point and a half underdogs the, they went under the total by seven and a half points. Prior to that, the Rockets did take care of business against the Grizzlies, uh, also lost to the Hornets. And we have the Spurs here. They are um, one and one. They, they they won against the Rockets a couple nights ago. They did lose to the, uh, to the uh, Mavericks, 120 to 109. If you go to historical matchups, prior to the one a couple nights ago, the Rockets actually won three straight. Uh, last season three and one straight up um, and then from a total perspective the last three matchups last season went under by a huge margin um, and it probably has to do with the in-season right uh, in-state rivalry between the two teams bringing out the defense um, if you look at some of the stats here obviously small sample size only three games for the Rockets two for the Spurs but um, offensive rating middle of the pack for these two teams defensive rating Sixth in defensive rating here for the Rockets compared to 14th for the Spurs. So still both uh, really solid defenses, but uh, definitely a surprise to see Rockets there in the top six. Um, pace of play in the middle of the pack for both teams here. Uh, if we look at some of the four factors, obviously effective field goal percentage, not, e uh, not efficient for the Rockets, but their defense for both teams here pretty solid. Uh, free throw rate advantage, uh, both uh, four and allowed, definitely towards the Spurs side here. Um, offensive rebounding, both doing pretty well offensively um, for second chance opportunities, but the Rockets do give up uh, second chance uh, opportunities at a higher rate. I think this is where the big gap is, right, between the two teams. Rockets, fifth in turnover rate versus sixth in turnover rate force compared to 26th and 30th for the Spurs. So even when they're getting these second chance opportunities or shooting efficiently, uh, they're giving the ball up a lot and uh, not forcing a lot of turnovers. So um rockets even though they're inefficient offensively probably still going to get a lot of opportunities to score here um you can see uh, some of the red here on the spurs side second chance opportunities to talk about that uh they're not taking advantage of it they don't push in transition either fast break points just 11 points per game um and their transition defense is not great giving up 18 per game uh so the rockets is this might be a opportunity for them to take advantage of the spurs also the points off turnovers third per game and then um really great at uh uh sorry this uh, points off turnovers third in points off turnovers allowed fifth on points off turnovers 
So they should do well here. And then the second chance opportunities. So they're they're averaging 21 points per game. They are giving it up at a high rate, but like I said, Spurs not really taking advantage of that. Uh, inside the arc, um, you can see a lot of green on this side. The Spurs uh, paint, paint field goal percentage and paint field goal percentage allowed pretty good there. Um, not efficient for the Rockets in the, within the paint. Uh, Mid-range not great either, but both defensively in the top half of the league for mid-range defense. And then uh, three-point shooting, kind of flip-flops, right, uh, as far as, like, defense, right? Uh, it's corner three field goal percentage allowed. One of the best in the league for the Rockets, but one of the worst for above the break three. And then it's the opposite for the Spurs. Three-point defense, uh, not great from the corner three, but great from above the break. So uh, kind of balances out there, but obviously more, more teams shoot the above the break three than the corner three. So we'll see how, um, how that advantage goes for the Spurs. Uh, from a trend perspective, first half, really great for the Spurs. 2-0 straight up, 2-0 ATS. As road favorites, Rockets uh, 0-1 uh, straight up and against the spread full game and first half. Uh, from a total perspective, a lot of things kind of pointing towards the under. You can see in the first half too, specifically 2-0 to the under there. Um, as home dogs for the Spurs, 1-0 uh, road favorite for the Rockets, 1-0 to the under. And if we go to the team totals, 2-0 to the under for the Spurs on the season. So uh, teams are still kind of overrating their offense here. I think that they need time to gel with uh, with the current roster uh, makeup and, and the changes that they've had on this team. And from a opponent team total perspective, the Rockets defense is still underrated. Opponents are 3-0 to, the, um, to their team total under. Uh, so couple things that I could think of. Obviously, um, the under for me is what I did last night. I gave it out to clients at 221, uh, but we are seeing it at 218 and a half right now. Um, I still think that it's the way to go. But one way to pivot, if you want to pivot, if you think the 218 and a half is um, the value is gone in that, uh, you could still look towards the Spurs team total under, in my opinion, because uh, we did talk about some of those trends. Spurs offense still overvalued. Uh, Rockets defense still undervalued there still might be an opportunity for the Spurs to stay under their team total so that's the breakdown that's how I use the moneyballer.com obviously when the season moves uh, as the season progresses we have more data more insights um, and it's going to be a lot more helpful the further the the further we get down the road here let me pull the screen back off uh, so that's the moneyballer.com if you guys are interested in checking that out I do have a Promo code RC50, uh, you can get 50% off your first billing cycle. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's that's a breakdown. Uh, like I said, the under for me was the play uh, at 221. I still think that's the way to go, but the pivot would be Spurs team total under. Um, check out the moneyballer.com. Check out wt.buzz backslash RC. That's my capper page at uh, WagerTalk. Uh, currently at 51 units in the month of October. Things are going really well, already profitable in the NBA season. NFL, number one in NFL, currently at Wager Talk, um, up over 40 units uh, for the season already. Uh, so wt.buzz backslash RC, make sure you capitalize on that 30-day all-access pass for that. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, whether you agree or disagree, make sure you guys leave comments uh, right after the video. Uh, I'll try to comment back. Um, and also, you know, if you like the breakdown, like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the notification button as well because I'm not the only one who breaks down games. You know, there's other great wager talk handicappers doing videos as well. Uh, and once again, uh, whether you fade or follow, it is on you to make that call. Good luck with all your actions. Till next time, peace.